Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can email or export a report. So what I've got here is a sales report. If I just open that so you can see it, there's the sales report. Now I want to send that to somebody or I want to save that to a file location. So if I just close that, what you've got at the top on the ribbon is external data click on that then you've got export and import we don't want imports we want export and you've got there first of all in email an email option so I'll click on that and then it gives you these different options of format what sort of format do you want this to be so I want this to be a PDF so I'll click OK to that and then it exports that attachment to a PDF email so there it is, PDF, and if I open that, it just opens up in the PDF format. I'm going to close that down, and there's an email from me to whoever I want to address it to. So if I close that, that's that one. So if I didn't want to email it, so we've got there is, um, let's say I want to just do it like that, export it to a PDF or you've got more options there, you can do it into Word or whatever, but I'll do it just to a PDF. It's asking me where do I want to put this, so it's default into Documents, so I'll let it sit there in Documents, Publish, and there it is again, but this time it's not going on an email, it's going into Documents. Now here is an option to save it, save the process that you just did, which I will do or it exists okay I'll put a, a one on the end of that so now it will go into saved export so click into there that's the one I did before so this is the one so now you can just run that it will just output to where you want it to go like so and there you go and get rid of that close this down now what you can also do is create a macro to do that. So if I go and click on create macro, what you've got in here is export with formatting, that one. So what do I want to export? Well, I want to export a report. And what report is it? It's a sales report, and the format is going to be PDF. Well, you can pick any of these, to be honest. PDF. Now, the output file, if you know what the path is for the output file, you can put the path there. But as it says there, if you leave it blank, Access will prompt you to save it, which is what I'm going to do. I'll leave that blank. So everything else can stay like that. Then you save the macro. So I'll call it MCR output, so I know which one it is. OK. And then you can see it down here with the rest of them. If I close that one down, then double click on that. It's asking me where do I want to put it. Now if I click on that, OK. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And it just overwrites that. So then you could attach that to a command button if I go into the main menu form that we created earlier, going to design on that, draw a command button wherever you want, and then you can attach that macro to it. So you're then just clicking a button. So it's miscellaneous, run macro, next, output, and I can just go finish there. In fact, I didn't want to do that, but never mind. Let's save that and have a look. So now I just click that, it does exactly the same. Okay. Yes, okay, overwrites it. So I didn't really want to do that, so I'll just go back and get rid of that for a minute and do that again. I was just being a bit lazy there. So run macro, next, output, next, and then you put, an, I want a title there, output, like so, and then finish. So now it says output. You can highlight those, arrange, 
um, stacked so they're all nice and neat same with those stacked and then save the form and go back to form design have a look click the output button off you go and that's basically I'll cancel that one off that's how you can create a an automatic process to output to a file that last one was but before that I did email and you can do exactly the same in a macro as well you can output it to an email and get it to stop so you can give the addresses so that's all I want to talk about in this little session so hopefully that was of use to you uh, thank you for your time I'll see you in the next one